of mystery to land of fairy tales, Middle Eastern countries have always inspired people from all over the world. Just like its diverse culture, its food is highly rated and is one of the finest cuisines in the world. Its rich, aromatic textures engulf your senses and take you on a gastronomic journey. We've put together a list of the top 10 Middle Eastern foods you need to put on your bucket list. You can find these all over the world, but to get the real deal, you should come try them when you visit the Middle East. At number 10, Dolma. Dolma, or Dolme, is a family of stuffed dishes around the Balkans, South Caucasus, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Common vegetables for stuffing are tomatoes, peppers, onions, zucchinis, and eggplants. Stuffed cabbage rolls and vine leaves are also very popular. Meat dolmas are generally served warm, often with tahini. At number 9, Mirza Ghasemi. Mirza Ghasemi is an Iranian appetizer distinct to the northern Iranian and Caspian Sea region. It is widely known as Persian eggplant dip in western countries. The dish consists of smoky eggplants seasoned with garlic, tomato, turmeric, and bound together with eggs. It can be prepared as a casserole dish and is served with bread or rice. At number 8, shawarma, an extremely filling, cheap, and easily available roadside food found almost everywhere in Middle Eastern countries. Prepared with a filling of grilled meat and wrapped in a handmade bread, it is extremely tasty. The garlic sauce, hummus, or tahini paste inside the wraps give it a unique taste. Often served as a rolled bread or even spread on platters along with other popular dishes such as fidush or tabbouleh. At number 7, Baba Ganoush. A typical Middle Eastern starter, Baba Ganoush acts as the perfect dip for pita bread. To prepare this dish, eggplants are baked or broiled in an open flame until they turn soft and mushy. Their skin is then removed and mashed to form the base for the dish. The mashed eggplant is then seasoned with salt, red chili, olive oil, and lemon juice. The smoky flavors give it an outstanding taste. At number 6, Tachin. Tachin is an Iranian rice cake primarily consisting of rice, yogurt, saffron, and eggs. Some versions of the dish are more elaborate, folding in chicken fillets, vegetables, fish, or red meat. At number 5, falafel. While most of us have tasted different versions of fried snacks, nothing can be compared to a falafel. It is one of the most common Middle Eastern foods found in every nook and corner of this region. It is basically made with grind chickpeas, flavored with a few spices, onions, and red chili. An excellent vegetarian appetizer in a meat-loving region. At number four, Geme. Khorish Geme, or Geme Polo, is a beef and split pea stew, which is a very traditional and popular Iranian stew with saffron potatoes, served over white rice or aromatic rice. The dish is extremely common as an everyday meal in Iran, served in homes for lunch or dinner, or in various religious ceremonies such as Ashura or Ramadan. At number three, pide. Pide is one of the most common traditional stone-baked Turkish specialties. It looks very similar to a pizza with some stylistic and important differences. Pide is made with minced meat, together with onions, chopped tomatoes, parsley, and various spices, kashar cheese, spinach, and eggs, and spread across a rolled out dough. At number two, gorma sabzi. Gorma sabzi is an incredibly delicious Persian stew served over steamed basmati rice. It has tender cooked meat, an intensely fragrant, rich, and lemon herb gravy, along with kidney beans. Popularly known as the national dish of Iran, this stew is packed with protein and fiber. And at number one, mandi. A delectable main course dish, mandi is a very popular dish in the United Arab Emirates, Turkey, Egypt, and other countries of the region. Served on special occasions such as religious festivals, family functions, and weddings, it is a highly rated dish. Made with a combination of flavored rice and tandoor cooked chicken, lamb, or mutton, its aroma, flavor, and taste is simply awesome. 
We hope you liked this video. If you'd like to know more about unique local cultures, traditions, and people, you came to the right place. Give our channel a subscribe and smash the like button below to be updated with everything you want to know about unique local cultures. As always, let us know what you thought about this video in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.